there seems to be some confusion on AB 194. This bill will not remove any powers from the presiding um, mayor, uh, president, or supervisor who is uh, overseeing a board meeting. Uh, AB 194 is basically a bill that would allow, uh, which would give the people the right to be heard in a public setting. Specifically, it would protect the public's right to fully participate in decisions made by local government. Um, a lot of you may know that I was a council member for 10 years and saw <coughs> various uh, actions that maybe did not fully allow full engagement and the process that uh, went before the body to allow an individual to have a right to, to be fully heard sometimes was not uh, fair. So I'm hoping that in, in good faith that uh, this bill will allow uh, everyone to have the ability to be able to be heard in a public setting. It, um, I did remove certain provisions after listening to different stakeholders as well as yourself, Mr. Chair, so I did remove those. Uh, for 60 years, the Brown Act has helped ensure that the public can comment on issues their city council, board of supervisors, water agencies are having a debate on. The right to speak at public hearing is a cornerstone of democracy. So I'm hoping that we can solve uh, this problem or this issue. And I think one of the questions that I want to bring to the front is that people said, well, What's the problem? Show me the problem. We don't have any mechanism currently right now to that where an individual is able to go voice their concern if they were not heard on a public item that was take, being, having an action. So there is, no, there is no documentation to say that this is the problem. So I'm hoping that with this, there will be uh, checks and balances for an individual to be able to go through a process if their item is not, if they do not have the ability to be able to speak before uh, a governing body.